welcome to Board Game Casual Design Diaries, a series focusing on content for aspiring board game designers and things I'm working on as a designer myself. In today's episode, I'm covering my top three free tools for image editing and graphic design. Board game design is just a hobby for me, so I like to do things on the cheap wherever possible. And many of the best tools out there are actually free. And these are three that I use regularly. I might even throw in a bonus one, so stay tuned. Real quick, before we get into it, I've got some fun merch you can check out at boardgamecasual-shop.fourthwall.com. I think they're pretty cool. I hope you do too. Okay, on to the list. The first free tool that shouldn't be overlooked is the Google Suite. Specifically, using Google Docs or Google Slides when you need a quick and easy way to sketch something up with basic shapes and text. I've got a long history of drawing things in Microsoft Word, as I talked about in the How to Make Cards videos, and I've been migrating to Google's cloud tools as great free alternatives. For me, this is the tool that I'm fastest with, especially if I want to create something to scale and for print. For example, if I want to whip up a few cards that are exactly uh, three and a half inches by two and a quarter inches, it's as easy as creating a rectangle and editing the dimensions. Then I can work in content to that shape, add borders, fill colors, text, and copy paste that shape to make multiple cards. In terms of when I use Google Slides versus Google Docs, if I'm working on an idea and just want to sketch something up fast so I can see what it looks like, then I'm using Google Slides since I can draw directly without having to use a canvas. But if I'm designing something for print, making sure it's to scale on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, for example, then I'm using Google Docs. If you're just starting out or you need to sketch up a real basic prototype without having to learn a whole new tool, Google Docs is a great way to go. Inkscape is my go-to free application for creating and editing vector images. I'm primarily using Inkscape for creating logos or iconography. I created the Board Game Casual logo in Inkscape, for example. Ultimately, I'm using Inkscape to create things that I want to be able to scale as big or as small as I want. Here's some quick context on vectors for those who aren't familiar. There are essentially two types of digital image files vector files and raster files. Raster files are your typical pictures, something like a JPEG or a PNG. They have a fixed number of pixels. Vectors, however, don't use pixels. Instead, they store the relative mathematical relationship between points in the image so that they can be scaled indefinitely without losing resolution. The simplest way to think about vectors in my mind is like the text tool in your typical document program. Here I've got the text tool where I've typed an R, and here I've got a picture of an R. Basically, I took a screenshot of that letter and pasted it in as an image. Because the text tool is a vector, I can scale this letter as big as I want, and it'll always be crisp. However, if I try to scale up the picture, you can see it becomes pixelated. There's definitely a bit of a learning curve when it comes to using Inkscape, especially if you're not familiar with using vector graphics editors, like knowing when the outline of a shape is just the stroke on that shape, or if the outline is the shape itself. But there are a lot of great tutorials on YouTube that are perfect for beginners. Everything I've learned, I've learned through YouTube. And if I step away from Inkscape for a while and forget how to do a certain thing, I just watch a refresher. My go-to image editor, or free Photoshop alternative, if you will, is GIMP. GIMP is typically what I use when I'm bringing multiple images together or modifying existing pictures, doing color balancing, adding lighting effects like drop shadows, etc. If you come from a background of using Photoshop, GIMP will feel familiar, but maybe a little clunky. There are a lot of things you can do in Photoshop with one click, whereas in GIMP, you might have to go through two or three steps like adding a stroke around text, for example. This is another one where the learning curve might feel a bit steep, especially if you've never used a multi-layer image editor like Photoshop. But again, YouTube tutorials are key and certainly how I learned to use it. I use GIMP all the time. It's what I use to create my YouTube thumbnails, for example, and I regularly have to watch videos on how to do things. Just the other week, I looked up how to give text a gold embossed look. 
GIMP and Inkscape are both fantastic free tools. That said, if you've already got a license to the Adobe Cloud Suite, then by all means, Photoshop and Illustrator are the way to go. But for someone like me, that monthly subscription comes at too heavy of a price tag, and these free tools work great for my needs. Now I know I said I'd give you my top three free design tools, but I'll throw in one more that's board game design adjacent. And that's DaVinci Resolve as my favorite video editor. You might find yourself wanting to edit some video for your game. Maybe a video tutorial, a pitch to a publisher, or summarizing some playtester footage that you shot. And DaVinci Resolve is an awesome free tool. I used to use Adobe Premiere back in the day until eventually my copy aged out. And DaVinci Resolve blows me away with how great it is, especially being that it's free. It feels like Premiere and After Effects all together in one package. I use it to make all of my videos, including the one you're watching now. So there you have it, my favorite free applications for image editing and graphic design. The Google Suite for when I want to design something quick, Inkscape for icons and logos, and GIMP for compound images and image editing. If you've got a free tool that you recommend, put it down in the comments. I'm always looking to widen my arsenal. And if you're wondering where to go for free images and icons that you can use in your designs without having to create everything from scratch, stay tuned because I'll talk about my favorite resources for imagery and icons in an upcoming video. Thanks for watching Design Diaries, and hey, maybe consider getting yourself an aspiring board game designer t-shirt or hoodie. Until next time, happy designing, Happy playtesting. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time here on Board Game Casual.